Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tender in Two Minutes. Today we're going to take a look at uh, vendor of record listing for architect services. So vendor of record listing is uh, where they pre-qualify vendors and then select you for individual jobs on a second stage selection process. Uh, there's tons of benefits to these for both the suppliers and the buyers and uh, we'll save that for another episode because obviously we'll fit it into two minutes. This one here is from uh, Healthcare Materials Management uh, Services which is a joint venture between hospitals in London, Ontario. So there's two or three hospitals that uh, manage this joint venture who do all the purchasing, obviously to uh, streamline some of their services and save on administrative costs and get the best uh, value for some of their buys. What's really important to note about HMMS is they have these affiliates as well. So uh, there's a list of affiliates. Most of them are in the southwestern Ontario uh, region. So Basically, if you were to um, get on this vendor record list, these affiliates could buy from you through that second stage selection process and they'd still be compliant with the broader public sector procurement guidelines. So that's a huge, huge opportunity for anyone who's doing business on this VOR to really also uh, go out to these people and uh, market your services and try to build relationships there. So. Talking about how we win this one, there's obviously uh, a number of mandatory requirements. I always tell people, look at your mandatories first, make sure you can meet them and uh, meet them on time. So one big mandatory requirement on this one was a site meeting. Sometimes I don't like site meetings because it's uh, geographically challenging for some people to get there. But I think in the case of architect services, it's definitely something that you wanna have um, as a buyer and it's good as a supplier to go and see it as well. Uh, they did make a note in their site meeting plan that they'd be outlining a five year plan for the building. So that's huge, that's, uh, that's great for um, for suppliers who get on this list to know what the five-year plan is so they could be uh, prepared and align their resources properly so they can get their those secondary uh, quotes in on time and uh, on budget there. So when we look at actually how to win this one, it's heavily weighted towards specifications. So they're looking for the very best five architects to put on their roster, on their VOR. So make sure that you really outline your experience um, your expertise and your ability to deliver specifically for this client. So make sure that you customize some of this. We don't just want your uh, random brochures in your in your uh, submission. And uh, a lot of people stay away from public procurement because they think that they are getting undercut by low bidders. This is a perfect example where that's not the case. Uh, financial is only worth 15 points out of uh, 115. So that's really um, very, very small. So that's how you're going to win it uh, if you're going after this one. And um, I hope that helps. And good luck in future tenders. We'll talk soon.